Okay, fifth graders. My first video of the year. Here's a little bit of homework help for you guys. Um, so I wanted you guys to do 17 through. Well, actually, it was it was pages. Um, what pages was it? Let me look here. Uh, pages seven and eight. So I'm looking at just page um, page eight here, 17 through 24. I think you could do probably seven pretty much on your own. But let's look at a couple of these here. Some of these are kind of hard. Um, let's look at, um, well, let's see here. I think we did, I think I did 18 for you guys in class. So I'm not going to worry about that one so much. Hopefully you were paying attention. Let's look at number 19 here together. Number since it says a company had nine times 10 to the $6 in sales last year. Explain how to find the product of nine times 10 to the sixth. Well, um, explain how to find it. Uh, it would be nine times, and, and nine times what? Well, it'd be nine uh, times, what's 10 to the six? Well, it's a one followed by six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the question is, where do you put commas when you have a really large number like that? Well, you just start counting by threes. Let me, uh, Let's look over here for a moment here. I'm just going to put a, a one and I'm going to write down a whole bunch of zeros. There's a bunch of zeros. I'll even add two more. Okay. And so um, we count by threes going in this direction. And we start adding commas. So here's one, two, three. See, there's three zeros. Then I'm going to count another three zeros. One, two, three, and add another comma and then one, two, three, and add another comma. So there's a really great big number. So what is that, 10, uh, 10 billion? So for this number here, same thing. We're gonna, gonna start right here at the end. We're gonna count over three zeros, one, two, three. Then we're gonna count over three more, or three more digits. So what number is that? That's one million. Well, what's nine times one million? Um, that would be nine million. Okay, but it says explain how to find the product of nine times ten to the sixth. Well, how would you explain that? I mean, simply put, and you'd write nine. And add what? How many zeros? Six zeros. All right, so 19's done for you. How about 20? And it says an aquarium has the same shape as the solid figure below. What is the name of that solid figure? Well, um, what's the name of this figure right here? Okay, like so the front of this here, if I was just to color the front of this. All right, what, what, uh, What's the name of that shape? That's a rectangular. That's a rectangle. So, um, but this is a three-dimensional figure, and a three-dimensional figure is a prism. So the answer is a rectangular prism. Okay, rectangular prism. That's the name of that solid figure in number 20. Let's look at 22 here. <clears throat> Higher order thinking. Santiago hopes to buy a four horse trailer for about $12,000. Ouch, those things are expensive. I've never bought one. Uh, um, describe all the numbers when, describe all the numbers that when rounded to the nearest hundred are 12,000. Uh, it says describe all the numbers. Okay, so numbers greater than, now it's all the numbers, greater than um, or equal to, I want to move this up a little bit, whoop. greater than <clears throat> or equal to 
<clears throat> so it would be 11,950 uh, and less than less than what? 12,000 uh, we're going to round to we're going to round to 12 thousand remember twelve thousand and fifty numbers greater than or equal to eleven thousand nine hundred and fifty and less than twelve thousand and fifty so that's correct okay all right <clears throat> Um, that was probably the hardest one in there. So let's look at the bottom here. Um, 20, uh, 23. It says to um, choose all the equations that are true. So uh, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. That'd be um, a one followed by four zeros. That's not 40. That doesn't work. That's not true. Uh, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is, yeah, that's, this, that's correct. So this is correct. How about the next one here? 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. No, that's not right. How about this 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. Well, that's correct. And 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 4 times 10 to the 4th. Does that make sense? Well, we know that 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10 to the 4th. So that part of it is correct, but there's no four times, so that that doesn't work. So that's not equal to that. So just those first two on, or not the first two, the second one and the fourth one on 23. So uh, 24, I will tell you this. In 24, um, there are two, and only two, and only two of these numbers here. Um, that are correct. Okay, so just like in uh, 23, there was two that were correct. In this one also, there's only two that are correct. So I'll let you figure that out on your own. All right, that's it for your homework help. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. And uh, this shouldn't take you too terribly long to finish this. I think most of you finished page seven uh, in school today, in class today. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Um, let's see here. Stop.